All right. Good morning, everybody. This is Chef Destiny, Hi. Chef Aja, Cooking and Learning with Care segment, and Fridays are informational videos. Hope everyone is having a wonderful morning. Hope you had a good night's rest. And we can go ahead and get started, Aja. All right. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Good morning. Okay. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day so far. The sun is shining bright. Good day to be alive. Okay, so today I'm going to just go over a hodgepodge of information, leaning more towards like Thanksgiving stuff. Since we're counting down to Thanksgiving, uh, one of my favorite holidays, um, I'm going to tell you about the seasonal fruits and vegetables that are in season right now for the month of November in the state of Georgia. Um, those vegetables and fruits are broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, carrots, chard, like Swiss chard, collard greens, kale, parsnip, pecan, parsimon, spinach, and squash. Um, it's good, as most of you probably know, and for those who might not know, it's good to shop for your vegetables in season, especially when buying fresh produce. It just tastes better. It's more nutritious. Um, and it's also good to shop locally. And if you want to, I don't know, take a little adventure to get some of your Thanksgiving goodies or just in general. Here are three local farms in the Atlanta area where you can buy directly from the farmer. The Atlanta Harvest, Patchwork City Farms, and Truly Living Well Center, if y'all are interested in that information. Okay. Also, some fun information that I found out today is today is Spicy Guacamole Day. Um, also, we missed Devil's Egg Day, which was on November the 2nd. Oh, National yeah. Sandwich Day was November the 3rd. Diabetes, World Diabetes Day is November 14th, tomorrow. National Clean Out Your Refrigerator Day is November 15th. Uh uh. Up, up, up. I'm sorry. Two weeks ago. <laughs> November seventeenth is homemade bread day, and November twenty third is eat a cranberry day. I thought those were also interesting. Okay, now today I'm going to give you some information on two side dishes that are serve at most people's traditional Thanksgiving spread, and those are candy yams and cranberry sauce. And the history of the candy yam, which I, well, I, I should start saying the sweet potato. I found this to be interesting. Sweet potatoes is one of my favorite foods. Candy yams is one of my favorite dishes. Um, it reminds me of my grandmother. She made the best candy yam. But anywho, Sweet potatoes are, um, their origin, origin was in Central and South America. The first recipe that involved using a sweet potato was found in the 1600s. And the recipe consisted of roasted sweet potatoes with prunes, wine, and vinegar. Oh. That sounds too appetizing to me, but hey. Towards the 1917, Recipes came about in more of the traditional candy yams that we see nowadays with the marshmallow toppings, the nut toppings, etc. I thought that that was interesting as well. Um, for the origin, for the history of cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce actually originated from the American Indians. They used to boil cranberries to accompany, accompany excuse me, I don't know how to say that word, their meat. So they would boil the cranberries and whatever meats they were cooking with for that particular day, they would pair the boiled cranberry sauce with the meats. That's where the tradition today comes with the turkey with the cranberry sauce. I found that to be very interesting. Yeah. Now, cranberries are 90% water. They help with gum disease and also making your teeth whiter. Another fun fact back in the day, Pickled mangoes used to be the sauce that accompanied, accompanied turkey as well. So I found that to be really weird and interesting. But pickled mangoes was served next to turkey back in the day. Some, some people call cranberry sauce relish. 
the actual cranberry sauce that we know today, the sweet jelly form, it was first sold in 1912. Cranberries are the only fruit that is native to North America. So you will not find cranberries on any other continent or in any other country, but in North America. And they are primarily grown in only five states, Massachusetts, New Jersey, Oregon, Washington, and Wisconsin. Americans consume 80 million pounds of cranberry sauce on Thanksgiving Day. Cranberries are very good with giving you vitamin C. And um, that's pretty much all I have for today. Are there any questions? No. <laughs> I got one. All right, I'm listening. Charred. Exactly what is charred? Well, let me come closer. Sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, what you say? I was asking what is chard? Chard? Yeah. Oh, yes. It's um, it's a dark, leafy green vegetable. Um, I know there's like Swiss chard, rainbow chard. It's found mm -hmm. with the other greens, like near the kales and stuff, and it's very good. It okay. tastes kind of like kale. Okay, all right. Yes, ma'am. That's all I have today, Chef. All right. Thank you, Arja. Oh, you're welcome, Ms. Pam. Y'all welcome. I'm going to be going over blood type diets. Has anybody ever heard of that? Yes. Okay. And does anybody know their blood types? Yes. I know mine. I'm, I'm type O positive. <laughs> I've heard two types. I'm O negative. All right, all right. We're gonna go over the blood type diet. It's a diet by Dr. Diadamo. Mm -hmm. A D A M O. Could eating a diet based on your blood type O A B or A B help you trim down and get healthier? If you follow a diet designed for your blood type, your body will digest food more efficiently and you will lose weight and help prevent disease. Did y'all mm -hmm. know that? Yes. I don't mind to know that. Um, type O blood. You need a diet which is high protein diet, heavy on lean meat, poultry, fish, and vegetables life on grains, beans, and dairy. Also recommended various supplements to help with tummy troubles with people with type O tend to have. So whoever said they have type O blood, do you have stomach problems? No, I don't because I eat a lot of meat um, and I love vegetables, so I eat vegetables and fruit. Okay. Um, I do eat dairy, but I don't have trouble with dairy. Okay. I'm not the only person in my family that don't have trouble with dairy. Well, that's good. And people with the type O blood, they need to have vigorous aerobic exercise, like jogging or bike riding an hour a day. Right. Oh, hour? I do, I, I do walking. Oh, break it up. You can split it up. 30, <laughs> 30, 30 minutes there. Okay, so moving on to type A blood. Um, you have a meat filled diet based on fruits and vegetables, beans and legumes, and whole grains, ideally organic and fresh. And type A blood has sensitive immune systems. Exercises they um, suggest for you are yoga and Tai Chi. Type B blood. Avoid corn, wheat, buckwheat, lentils, tomatoes, peanuts, and sesame seeds. Chicken is also problematic for type B blood. 
You need to eat a lot of green veggies, eggs, and certain meats, and low-fat dairy. Type AB blood. Foods to focus on include tofu, seafood, dairy, and green vegetables. They People with a type AB blood have low stomach acid, and you need to avoid caffeine, alcohol, and smoked or cured meats. Watch out. For all the blood types, we should avoid processed foods and simple carbs. Right. Um, chronic health conditions can conflict with the blood type diet if you are starting a blood type diet. So if you have any um, health conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, Stuff like that, you should contact your doctor, consult your doctor first before starting a blood type diet. Every uh, a quick question. Uh huh. I've always had trouble with simple carbs. What's simple carbs basic base uh, versus complex carbs? All right. I'm gonna give you some examples. So, simple carbs are the ones that don't have um, all the nutrients you need. Right, mainly sugar. Right, mainly sugar, food, sweets, um, stuff like that. Um, sugar, sweets, sugars, sugars, and sweets. Okay. Right, it's a lot of foods that change your your simple carbs change into sugar right once it get into your body it converts into sugar okay breads yeah it's a, the complex carbs give you more nutrients while the simple ones are more of the sugary kind so if you have diabetes and stuff like that you don't need those kind carbs is um vegetables and other stuff yeah maybe so everyone should aim for 150 minutes of aerobic exercise per week. So split it up, Leona. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and two days of strength training. Right. <clears throat> now I want to go over foods that will boost your mood and make you happy. Because, you know, every day is different. And sometimes I've been a lot lately trying to stay more positive, more happy. Um, even though it's a lot of disaster stuff going around. Right. Um, but mental health is a real issue and also depression and suicide. Um, right. So these are some foods that will boost your mood and make you happy. Quinoa. Now, I don't know if I agree with that because I don't like quinoa. So that would make me happy, but I guess if you like quinoa, it will make you happy. What's quinoa? Quinoa is a grain. Um, it's um, in between a rice and a pasta, kind of. Right. Um, salmon. Salmon does make me happy. <laughs> Mushrooms. Mushrooms make me happy. I like mushrooms. That don't make me happy. Okay. But All right. We'll put that on your not happy list. Okay. <laughs> Dark chocolate, happy. Yep. Probiotic foods make you happy. B6 vitamins. Now, on here they saying chicken, but I guess that don't count for the other. Who was that? Um, chicken make me happy. <laughs> That's not happy food. Oh, type B, you can't do the chicken. Um, leafy greens, beef. I know a good cheeseburger will make you happy sometimes. Um, grapes, folic acid like bok choy and turnip greens. Warm milk. I don't really like milk, but I've never drank just milk, except probably when I was a baby. Um, black coffee, 
because it triggers alertness and boosts a person's mood. Now I wonder why my granddad always drank black coffee. My yep. only drank black coffee and then when I would try to sneak a sip, he'd say, uh-uh, <laughs> you're black. Hey. Turn black. So I never drank coffee as a kid because my granddad scarred me and told me it was going to make Also, green tea. And we know green tea has a lot of uh, healing properties and make you feel better properties. <clears throat> All right, six simple ways to train your brain for happiness. Now, one that I do myself is I listen to um, positive affirmations and sleep meditation. Um, now, the only dangers with that is sometimes it can put you in a deep, deep sleep, and it's hard to wake up, because I done been, the first time I tried it, I think I might have been late getting up for work or something, because I was that out of it, but it puts all them positive affirmations in your brain while you're sleeping, which has been helping me. Well. Right. So the first step is ask yourself if you're thinking positive. I know it's so easy throughout the day to just be negative and woe is me and this and that and you know, so try to, when you get those kind of thoughts, try to revert and check yourself. Memorize a list of happy words. When I was a kid, when and still to this day, my dad uses big words. So sometimes he would call you a word that you have to go look up to see what it means, but it helped us learn different words in the dictionary that we would mm -hmm. use most commonly. Um, so memorize a list of happy words. Uh, practice gratitude. Every day somebody does something for you or they don't, you can still just tell a person thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for waking up. Thank you for listening to me the other day. Um, that's some things we don't do. We do a lot of complaining, but we should do a more, a lot of lifting each other up. Spend a few moments a day writing about something happy. When I, when I was a kid, I had several diaries or journals, and it actually does help you get your feelings out um, even in relationships, I do. If I get mad um, enough to where I don't want an argument, I'll just write it all out, and that'll make me feel better. So I have to cuss the person out. So, so write it down. I have a cousin that has been doing it for 30 years. Ooh, which have, a, have a journal Ooh. in Mississippi on Chandra's side. Oh, okay. Um, celebrate your successes, even the small ones. I know a lot of times you beat yourself up about different things. I know when I first started this weight loss journey, I was beating myself up because it don't come off as fast as it get on you. Right. So you have to uh, really train your brain to not get discouraged. <clears throat> I went to when we had to get our laptops for Fulton County, I talked to a very nice um, and one fellow employee, and she was telling me that she used to be really heavy and lost the weight and kept it off for 20 years or more, but she was just giving me positive affirmations, telling me that you are going to go up and down because of life situations. It just can't be helped, but always don't beat yourself down. Just pick yourself back up and start back up. Right. And that really helped me and encouraged me. Um, improve your brain capacity. You can do that by meditating. My sister, she does a lot of yoga and she has a singing bowl. Anybody know what a singing bowl is? One singing bowl. A singing bowl is a meditation bowl. Oh. You know, you this, yeah. little, this little stick thing and you swirl right. it. Oh, and it sings to you, and it's very um, um, therapeutic. I've done it with it. Um, right. 
But yesterday was funny. She text, she I asked her what she wanted for Christmas, me and my mom. And she said she wanted a new singing bowl, and the singing bowl was $240. I said, well, the singing bowl better do more than sing. <laughs> The vibration is a very positive vibration. Yes, it is. It, it really is. It gets um, into your blood. They have a class where she uses the vibration bowl. Also. Yeah. yeah, it's very nice. I like it. Um, regular exercise. Exercise relieves tension, mm -hmm. stress. Um, I didn't believe it that... Um, even when you're having cramps, that Miss Buffy told me a long time ago, if you exercise, it'll go away, it'll feel better. I never believed it. Well, please, I'm in pain. But I actually tried it and it did help. Um, write, write. If you're good at writing down your thoughts or poems or stuff like that, it says listen to Mozart, but I think you listen to. Whatever music that makes you happy, it don't have to be no Mozart. Um, just sometimes I have just gospel sessions in my garage. Or um, I remember one time I was in there having a fit going through it. Uh, I was in the garage shouting and crying and, you know, uh, having my moment with the Lord. And one of my um, family members came out in the garage. Are you all right? Are you okay? And I said, I'm cracking up laughing, but I'm like, yeah, I'm just having a moment with me and God. Yeah, yeah. screaming therapy. There's screaming therapy. Yeah. yeah, crying therapy. Sometimes you just have to buckle down and say, thank you. We're so always asking God for everything. But some days, only my prayers are thank you. Yep. For the past, the present, and the now. Because I don't always want to seem like I'm always just asking, 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 yep. Lord, Lord. So some days and throughout the day, I'll just tell them thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, laughter. Y'all is in Miss Buffy class. I don't know if she has a segment where she just busts out laughing with the whole <laughs> class. And if you in the building when that happened, you definitely stop and look and see what's going on. Because I remember <laughs> the first time I heard it, I was like, what in the world? But it really will make you start laughing. A healthy diet and get plenty of sleep. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, on the screen. Give me a second. Um, everybody can see Thank this. You, Destiny. You're welcome. Everybody can see this, um, what I'm sharing on the screen? Yes. yes. All right, yes. so we're just going to yes. go through this 50 moves, 50 foods that boost your mood. Honey does So first one is black beans. Beans are a magnesium-rich food that helps boost the happiness hormone, serotonin, and bloated feeling too. As if that's not enough, these small but mighty guys are antioxidant-rich and loaded with other good food for your nutrients like iron, fiber, copper, zinc, and potassium. I like black beans. Halibut. One of the best choices of foods that make you happy, halibut. A steamed piece of halibut has an impressive amount of protein and influences your serotonin levels. It's also ranked as one of the most filling foods according to the Satiety Index of Common Food, an Australian study published in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition. I didn't know that halibut. I might start adding that to my diet. Whole grain bread. When your hormones are all over the place, like PMS, stress at work, or whatever, you wind up craving carb-rich foods because they help comfort your hormonal roller coasters. That's true. But cookies won't make you nearly as happy or thin as a complex carb like whole grain. Yeah, I'm not going to read everything. I'm just going to go through it. Ugh. Beads. 
I do not like beats. <laughs> oh, oh, love beats. It's hard to beat the amazing beats, and that is true. Beats contain beta beta What is it? Beta two. Betaine, which supports serotonin production in the brain, elevating your mood along the way. A funny story about beats. My mother, she loves beats. And like whenever me and my sister if we owe her money or something, she'll be like, well, you could just eat about 20 beats because she know we are really disgusted by beats and you don't have to pay us to pay me back. We only did it. We only did it one time, and we barely made it past one beat. That was just a funny story, but my mom loves beats. See, I saw a beat, um, a beat um, hamburger recipe. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to have to send that to me. Uh, Seaweed, yes. You, if you pickle the beets, you don't mess anything up in it, do you? Because I love pickle beets. Oh, no, you still get the same nutri nutrients. You're actually probably getting more because you're pickling it, and vinegar has good health qualities as well. So, okay. seaweed, yes, it's like in your sushi or on the side of the salad. It's packed with depression fighting iodine. That is really good, mm. which isn't also so easy to find in food. That's really nice to know. Chamomile tea. We know that because it calms you down. Blueberry juice. I've never, I got, we got to make us some blueberry juice. I've never just made or drank blueberry juice, but it looks delicious. And I know blueberries are great for you. I do um, oh. cherry juice. What kind? Cherry. Like oh, the frozen yeah. cherries and just oh, put yeah. them in the blender with some water. No, oh, I like cherries. Yeah. Red wine. Now we see why the French are so happy all the time. <laughs> they love them some red wine. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Eggs. I love eggs. They're loaded with mood promote promoting omega-3 fatty acids. We've been over the omega threes. Red peppers. Oh no, I just said oh, red bell peppers. Red bell peppers, yes. And y'all can go back and read up on this. I just wanted to go through um okay. the list. Coconut. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah. Our good old friend dark chocolate. And years ago I did not like dark chocolate. I couldn't stand it. But I guess as I'm getting older, my taste buds are changing because I like it. Pumpkin seeds, never really been a fan, but okay. They are little crunchy nuggets of happiness, they say. Muscles, do not like muscles. I don't like it. But I know a lot of people who do, first of all, they just look weird. I don't like the sand. I just don't like them. But it says they're good for you. So, oh, and it helps insulate your brain cells, keeps your brain sharp. Well, maybe I should eat some more muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Swiss chard. We just were talking about that with Aja. And there it is. If you didn't know what it looked like, there it is. A leafy it's green delicious. packed with magnesium. Yes. Blue potatoes, which are actually purple. Blue potatoes. <laughs> I thought those were uh, eggplant. No, these oh, are potatoes. Larger, yeah. These are potatoes. Okay. These help with mood killer inflammation. That is excellent. Grass fed yes. beef. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 It's a happy fat. I like that. I like that term. Happy fat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Deconstructed happy fat. Yes. Greek or Icelandic yogurt. Okay, I, I like that. yogurt. Asparagus. I love asparagus. Cooked the right way, of course. Honey. 
Where would we be without the bees, y'all? Nowhere. Oh, okay. And they need to start stop mistreating our bees because we need them. Plenty of beneficial compounds, good for your brain. Watering off depression, that's good. Cherry tomatoes. Boy, when I tell you, when you go to places like Sprouts or the New Kroger's or um, Whole Foods, so for some reason, they, they tomatoes in there are so fresh and so sweet. It's like eating candy. And it's so delicious. I love tomatoes. Olive oil, that's mm. another one of our friends. Spinach, yum. Good for iron deficiency, which is what I need. Yeah. Green tea, we talked about that. Flaxseed, flaxseed oil is good for your hair all the way down to your toes. Okay. Salmon, it's delicious. Yep. And full of protein and omega three fatty acids. Crab, yum, yum. They got the three things I like on the plate tomatoes, <laughs> some greens, and some ca uh, crab. Oh, yeah. Bananas, delicious. Oh, those little baby bananas I got from uh -huh. Whole Foods, they were so delicious, so creamy. Mm -hmm. I got to try some, the baby bananas. Peas, I love peas, but my, yes! boss, my yes! boss hates peas. There she yes! goes. <laughs> I couldn't even get it out when she talking. Yes. <laughs> Cheryl hates peas. Oh, my goodness. She call it mixing <laughs> up. She When she come on the line, we know. No, don't give Miss Terrell no peas and mixing up too much mixing up. I don't want no pea juice. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't even want to smell them. <laughs> oh, now here come one I don't like: Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Oh, man, this tastes like little cabbage. Uh -uh, they a little funkier than the cabbage. <laughs> Ooh. But they good for you. Depression again. This is really. This the people need. You know what? They need to start correlating food classes with depression to help people yeah. in simpler ways. And this is really good to know. Chicken, when it's, when it's done the right way, not pumped up with all those extra stuff. Raisins, delicious. I used to talk about my mom back in the day for putting them on her salads. And now I can't stop putting them on my salads and eggs. Kudos. Oysters, never cared for them. They in the boat with mussels to me, but we all know what oysters can do for you. They boost a lot of mood happiness. Yeah. <laughs> avocado, love it. Should have been, no, been number one on the list. I eat it anyway, raw. On some toast, guacamole. I try to eat some every day. Um, collard greens, delicious. Apricots. I'm not a big fan of apricots. But, but they got a, a fruit that's called that's called a puak, where they mix a where they uh hybrid a plum and an apricot together. And what is called? A P-L-U-O-T. Oh, I want to try it. Where they got that at? Uh, Kroger sell them from time to time. But okay. they so, I know what you're talking about. Your tea, yeah. yeah okay. Right. Chia seed. But it might be just flat to some people. I don't know. But okay. Gonna, We're going to yeah. check that out. But they are good. I like them. That's the only way I eat apricots. Okay. <laughs> I like I like to bake with them or cook, you know, make a sauce or something. But I don't just like it like if it was apricot jam on my toast. No. Uh -huh. Chia seeds, chia seeds. I know they're good for you. Crunchy snack. Broccoli, delicious, but can be stinky. But it can be delicious. I can I cannot stand overcooked broccoli. My gosh. 
It's like a crime. Lemons. We know lemons are good for everything. Yeah. Hey, they ward off bugs. You can put them in your tea. You can put them on your skin. I mean, just everything. Juicy, make clean. <laughs> make tuna, tuna. I love tuna fish. Oh, yeah. Omega 3 fats. Mm -hmm. Walnuts. My favorite. Delicious. Chantera, Terrell mushrooms. They got those at Whole Foods. Those are really good, too. So y'all can come back and look at these. We almost done. Clams. No, nope, they riding a boat with mussels and oysters to me. Oh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Coffee. We said it. But black, I can't do black. Oh my goodness. Coffee tastes nasty to me by itself. Yeah, black? Uh-uh. That's how my dad used to like to drink. My, yeah, my granddad. Just straight black. Um. Uh, uh, Chef? Yes. Uh, I just need you. Uh, I was trying to wait. And Aja, too. Remember what we talked about yesterday about recounting? Yes. Okay. We have to do this. I need y'all to talk to me right quick. <laughs> I'm so sorry, class, but I have a, uh, I have a deadline. Okay. Okay. So uh, I, I'm right, getting right. ready to call you in, in a minute. So I need you to pick up your phone. And Chef, I yeah, need you, you to let me, me know. I was in the video, so that's why that's, I didn't pick up. I'm sorry. That's okay. Chef, okay. Mm -hmm. as soon as you're done, um, it's Saturday through Wednesday from 7 to 5. Let me know something. Okay. okay. All right. And, and it came from the county manager. Okay. Can I ask a quick question to Ms. Taylor? Yes, ma'am. My instructors told me she was not going to be there all next week because she's going to be free county. Is yes, ma'am. Is classes going to be closed or what? Well, that's getting ready to happen. Right. We all got to go. So you'll be getting that email in a minute. All right, thanks. Yes, ma'am. Uh, oh, well, that just completely ruined my day. Orange <laughs> <Aren't you scared? laughs> scale. I don't even want to go over the rest of this. Macro. <laughs> I, I need to go eat me some of this. Don't eat you oh, some damn food. Oh, one more. I'm going to have to go and eat everything on this list after I get <laughs> off of here. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to conclude here because my brain is totally lost now. Um, <laughs> love y'all. Have a great weekend and, and pray for us, Jesus. Okay. All right. We'll do, sweetie. Love you.